Title screens may seem simple on the outside, but the most iconic title screens have a little bit extra added to them. A great example of this is Minecraft and its splash text. You boot it up and you wonder what the funny little yellow letters are gonna say. Another great example is the Mario 64 title screen. You get to like stretch Mario's face and just do weird stuff. And I mean, it's pointless, but it's fun. If you're not caught up to speed, I'm making a pet simulation game called Jelly Fields where you get to take care of adorable little slimes called jellies. Perhaps you'd be silly and wacky enough to watch all of the devlogs with the card that just popped up. Jelly Fields is actually a remake of a game I made forever ago called Slime Game and its title screen looked like nothing because I didn't have one. I originally made a title screen for Jelly Fields and it turned out pretty bad. If I open up my Unity branded notebook, that's a slight little flex for you, you could see that I drew a train. Yes, a train. Jellyfields actually has a lot of inspiration from vacations. It has this just whole traveling theme. So I thought having a train on the title screen would be really awesome. I also got this bootleg Lego train for inspiration. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just flexing on y'all again. Flexing on you with my bootleg Lego train. What a flex, dude. I drew this train cart and I'm actually really happy with how this came out. The perspective is really cool. And the idea here is that if I move this stinking thing out of the way, I can take some jellies and I can plop them in here and it looks kind of like it's a little train car that's carrying jellies. But that's not all because I drew a second cart that has sort of like a little chimney thing, smoke thing on the top of it so that I can animate some smoke and have it come out of it. I animated the train cart to bounce up and down and whatever jellies are inside there are kind of bouncing around as well. The game will select which jellies are inside the cart based on which jellies you have unlocked and also random chance and they can also be doing different things like sleeping, being awake, and also sometimes they'll be shocked. So the train carts will come from the right to the left over here to this red diamond. When it hits it it'll destroy it and then it'll spawn a new one over here at this green diamond so it'll make an infinite looping train kind of illusion. I also added these little train tracks here as well. I think this is really cool. The train sort of drives by you can see sometimes there's jellies on top of the train carts as well you can also see the carts that have the smoke thingies are poof and smoke out of the top i just think it it actually came out really well as for the rest of the menu you have your play button your cards and your setting the cards actually show you which jellies you have unlocked and when you unlock a jelly you get the card for that jelly if i hit play i go to the save select menu which you can see there's a bunch of different save slots and there's even three whole pages of them. If you don't have a save slot, there's just a plus, but if you do, it shows you what the jelly is, the jelly's level, the biome you're in, and this is a secret for now. If I click the plus to create a new save file, it'll ask me for a name of the jelly. I'm gonna call this jelly chicken, and then you can also select if you wanna be in creative mode or not. Then when you click next, you start the game. Another detail I added is these clouds spawn in periodically and they move from the right side over to the left, and it adds a little bit of extra ambiance to the whole scene.